everyone, and welcome back. So I have neglected to update a video I made a while back on ballistic weapons in KSP. So I'm just going to update that video now, and it needs to be updated because of the changes in overheating in the last couple of updates to the game. So, let's get to it. So, way at the very bottom of my gigantic list of vehicles, I have this. And this is just the uh, ballistic weapon in its simplest form. So, this gun works by uh, using the rocket engine to push a bullet. And if you didn't know, you can launch things with rocket engines. For example, Kerbals. And it hit me one day that instead of a Kerbal, I could just stick a part in front of it. And so I went and found the part that works the best as a bullet, and that is a cubic octagonal strut. And so this cubic octa octagonal strut will fall, land on this platform, and then the it's lined up with the rocket engine once it lands in here. So then I can just launch it with the rocket engine, and it will fire. Okay, so now this is in stock KSP, but... If you just go and try it, it probably won't work. This engine has to be a certain distance from this little strut so that it doesn't overheat it and blow it up. And I'll go over that in a second. But um, uh, first, let me show you that it actually works. So I'll disconnect that. And you see it landed there. Then I'll throttle up the engine and give it a quick burst. And you can see it flying off there. And there it hit the runway and exploded. Okay, so how far back from the strut here does the engine have to be? Well, I went and figured out exactly how far it is, and uh, let me put an engine down. So I just made a sub-assembly, and it, I labeled it spacer, and this is just a spacer that will tell you exactly what the distance should be. And uh, you can take a look at that. I'm I'm not going to put any kind of download file or anything. So you'll just have to copy this into your own save. Or try and build this in your own save if you want to build it. So this very front one is just offset backwards a little bit. I'll zoom in a little bit further so you can see how much it's offset. Now you're probably you've probably noticed that this fires only one shot. Now you could make it fire more shots if you just put more of these docking ports um, higher and higher up. But then whatever you're putting this gun on has to be really tall, and also these as they drop drop further, they're more prone to just kind of sort of floating sideways a little bit as they fall. So that's not a very good system, and I have devised a couple systems to make reloadable guns, and I'll show you both of those now. The second one is better, though. That was the more recent one. Okay, and this is the first system I made on this tank that I made uh, back in September of 2015, and it's really simple. It just has a bunch of these docking ports lined up over this little tray. The struts fall onto the tray, and then the sweeping arm, which is just an air brake, will come along and push them into the breech here, this barrel, and then the engine just fires it down the barrel. The second system, which works a lot better, is still a work in progress, but it is working enough that I can show you how it works and this one is was originally supposed to be designed to fit inside a tank it's a little bit too tall and maybe a little too wide but that can be fixed and it will be fixed um, anyway I'm gonna take this out to the runway to show you guys I'm also gonna try and make a download for this if you guys want to try it yourself so I'll put the action groups on the screen somewhere probably here and you can pause the video if you want to look at those. Okay, so 
here I can press zero to decouple the rotating part of this. So this part will rotate and it has a bunch of these bullets loaded on here. And there's an engine down here in the bottom and these bullets will rotate in front of the engine to get fired. So right now I don't have any mechanism to lock this rotating part in a position where the bullet is lined up with the engine down here. So you just kind of have to really try to, you know, use SAS and stuff and try and just line it up just right so you can drop it down onto this little platform. But um, I will eventually try to make a mechanism with like locking grooves to lock it in place. Anyway, um, I will fire this now to show that this also works. So let me go to the other vehicle where the engine is. And it's a little bit inconvenient, but like I said, work in progress. And then I can throttle up, and there goes the bullet. This one hasn't been lined up as well just yet, so that went off sideways a bit. If you try and build one of these yourself, and the bullet does go sideways, but it looks lined up, that... That means that the engine is probably firing or is tilted, you know, just a little bit away from the center of mass of the thing. So if you're adding all the speed to the strut off to the side of the center of mass, even slightly, it'll curve in midair as it flies. Okay, so that is everything, and if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop it down in the comment section, and I will be sure to get back to you. And uh, stay tuned for videos about those tanks I've built. I've been meaning to make videos about those for a while. And uh, thanks for watching.